How difficult is it running a global multinational company when you have such volatility and such differences, for example, in China, US, and what is it, what's your challenge? Well, the challenge is to make sure that you have a flexible plan and you can execute it as well as you can, uh, can uh, very flexible and uh, channel investments uh, where the opportunities are. And there are opportunities and there's a lot of volatility, just like there was last year and the year before. But how does the volatility impact your business? Uh, it impacts it in some respects, uh, like the price of oil and commodities, which are very benign right now, and they they look to be continue to be benign over the next 12 to 18 months. That's positive. Uh, from uh, it's also the price of gasoline going down is positive for the U.S. consumer. Mobility is going up. Travel is going up in the United States, but particularly, and so that helps our business when the consumer travels more, when the consumer is able to stop at convenience stores and pick up products, when they stop and buy gas, they drive more. That's a positive. But you don't, for example, think of slowing down your investment in China or elsewhere uh, because there's a temporary hiccup. On the contrary, we have just, we've just reiterated $4 billion uh, until 2020 in China. So the, the key in our business is to continue to invest not only in upturns, but also in downturns, invest into the future, Richard. That's so, how we, we look at our business. So you now have a new, um, a new phrase, don't you, at Coca-Cola? Taste the feeling. Taste the feeling. How long did it take for you to come up with Taste the Feeling? It's been uh, worked on by our uh, marketing ex executives and agencies for the past 12 months. And they present it to you, and you sort of say, well, I like that. Yeah, uh, it's, it's uh, the, our former campaign, uh, Open happiness was there for about six years. We had you know, just about the right time to refresh. Refresh. And so, uh, taste the feeling. Yes. Where does it come from? What's the concept? The concept is that uh, it's, there's a strategy behind it also where the trademark of Coca-Cola, the, the, the best trademark in the world, can extend to all the other brands uh, under the Coca-Cola trademark, such as Co Co Diet Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola Light, uh, Coke Zero, Coca-Cola life and so forth. And so therefore, it basically is a much more holistic way to look at our Coca-Cola trademark. I think I have to disagree with you on the best trademark in the world. I think the one at the bottom right hand of our screen has to win the day on that. Well, we both have red, that's good. <laughs> Talk, come, over to the, come over to the worry wall, if you'd be as kind. Uh, go on then, since you've got red, I'll give you a red. Now, where are you? This is your not, you're, you're not worried at all. This is your absolutely petrified and there's a lot of fear out there. Where are you? I'd be probably around there. Uh, so I, I still believe there's a lot of opportunity in the world, and we have Come to back. make sure that we can mine that opportunity properly.